hotel room. <laughs> My stuff everywhere. And check out in the evening sun what the look out of the window, what the view out of the window looks like. Look how blue the water is and all those ships down there. I still like, I still like it. <laughs> so good, of course you can't fully open the window. I've had the balcony last time. It would be nice. Maybe next time I'll get room with the balcony again. So cool. Hello my darlings and welcome to another video by Channel Vegan and Frodo in the Northern Territory. Today I want to show you in this video, <laughs> I'm trying to find some light since it is the evening, I would love to share with you the map of the local parks and just a few attractions that you can have a look at in day or two or however long you have to spend in this area. Let's get the Shona Road. By the way, check out this epic, epic view. Although it is not time right now. It is dark. I absolutely love balcony. Ladies and gentlemen, here we have a map of the North Top End. It is the Northern Territory. Right here, over here, you see this is Darwin, this is Palmerston, Humpty Doo, Adelaide River, and then that's going this way. It goes to Kakadu, Kakadu National Park, Jabru. Kakadu National Park, this way, at the bottom down, hit Pine Creek, a little bit further south, we have Catherine, in Catherine, beautiful gorges, inside the Nitmilk National Park, and then becomes a, it becomes a triangle, a bit of a triangle with a bit of a, little bit of a lump thing here, again it goes Pine Creek up to Litchfield National Park. I'll just rearrange the lights. Litchfield National Park just here and back to Darwin. Now with Litchfield you can also do a bit of a loop here. There's one here. You can do one this way. You can also check this area out but note that there are some ways around here, specifically those, these dotted line ones. Dotted lines, is this better lighting? Is that better lighting? No, I don't think that was better. These dotted lines, these dotted lines, they are basically four wheel drive only. So for example, this place here, Jim Jim Falls, it's absolutely spectacular, but it's four wheel drive only. Also, if you wanted to start over here and you only rented a small little auto car that only that doesn't do four wheel drive, there is going to be a six kilometer stretch here of only gravel. So it's going to be a bit of a mesh, just be aware of that. There's also a few coastal beach areas where you can drive to, definitely a whole bunch of different places around Darwin. If we zoom in further into the Litchfield National Park, I have another map just here for you specifically, so you can focus on that. So the way I did it, I drove down from Darwin to the side here, and I didn't realize about that 6K gravel bit so I, I did get really stressed out <laughs> for a bit but after I realized that it is not forever and then it became bitumen so that's what they have written here 6k of gravel so you cross that and I went this way but I think so 
supposedly ideally you'd be going you'd be following this main Stuart highway up to a place called Bachelor. And then you turn on to Bachelor and you will start hitting all these different falls good like mostly these are falls like different places where you see the waterfalls and some of them come out from gorges that you'll see in other videos as well so as you can see here in bachelor as well there's a camping ground there's fuel food places to stay and along the way here if we can put the scheme through there are places where you can get food there are also places where you can stay the night camping grounds camping grounds camping grounds and there are a couple of you wouldn't say motels but cabins cabins on the way back when i was driving that way as well so some things that you definitely want to see is firstly this magnetic and cathedral termite mounds now i'm gonna do a separate big video on this or you might have seen it already if you're watching this video after watch that one but basically this is really really cool now all these places to go to all these places it's absolutely free you just need to have a vehicle to get <laughs> to those places really so definitely check out the termite mounds there's a good little section where you can read stuff about it and there's a walkway and then you can really learn about difference between magnetic and cathedral mounds and you can have a look they're really really cool or you can just check out one of my videos about northern territory and learn about them there another cool place is a florence falls or burley rock hall now burley rock hall is just a bunch of little lakes you can say just little rock pools yeah and it, they cascade down with teeny little waterfalls and there's when i went there there's a whole lot of people swimming there and it was i didn't want i didn't go swimming there but there's a lot of people who were swimming there and it's just a place to call off really it's although it is very popular incredibly easy to access so there might be quite a few people and it's obviously crocodile proof but make sure you're swimming in the place that is specifically you know marked for swimming now florence falls on the other end is a spectacularly beautiful place i really really enjoyed it if you were running out of time and could only see like one of the two you didn't want to kind of spend time here and there go to the florence falls it's a bit of a walkway but they're absolutely spectacular you go in there there is a platform where you can watch the waterfalls from higher up almost bird's view and then you walk down to the waterfalls at the bottom and you can go swimming underneath them as well there is like a big pool there and there's a bit of a there's some bushwalking some trails there's also four-wheel driving and two-wheel driving camps campsites so you can camp there too and it's just very very beautiful i thought then there's a few other places as you can see here there are a few of these more remote places which you can only access with a four-wheel drive i only had a regular little basic car so i didn't go there but another place i went to was this tolma falls and again it's a tiny bit of a walk or if you choose to do so you can also do a bit of a trail walk which would probably take about half an hour to 40 minutes to do a loop and you end up next to this insanely beautiful gorge again with the water will through it and it's spectacular they also have rare bats living in there a colony of bats so it's all just really beautiful and absolutely would recommend anyone checking it out similarly with this chia teba falls <laughs> green Ant creek i didn't know i ended up passing going past it because i was driving this way and there is a big hill in between these two places and i just passed the turn the turn for this place is not very clearly highlighted unlike for the other places well maybe i just missed this one and ended up driving up 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 and i was basically at this place before i could actually turn around so i just ended up going to this one instead of this one 
there's a bit of a walk and it's absolutely beautiful I heard it opens up a huge view of the entire region of the national park spectacular but you see quite good views of this from this one too now another place that you might choose to have a look at are this Wangi Falls. There's also Wangi Falls Cafe here as well. Now there are bathrooms all through the place. There are places to have picnic. There's also an airfield just there, Northern Territory Airfield, where you can get on a little helicopter and it takes you around the entire region. But specifically for this Wangi Falls, so now there's a couple of waterfalls there. There's a beautiful pool again, crock free, so where you can go for a refreshing, beautiful swim especially in during the day in the warmer months so even uh, we're basically we're in winter now and it still gets up to 30 degrees c during the day here so they're definitely definitely worthwhile so you can go for a swim there you can also hike to the very top of the falls and it's just really really cool little walk thing you can say again it takes about 40 minutes if you especially if you like stop and take some videos and photos and things there are people do when i went there there are people doing bird photography and things like that so there's just a bit of different stuff that you can entertain yourself with this is definitely a really cool place it's clearly marked there are a few steps and you basically will have to try really hard to get lost <laughs> And there are ranges, by the way, in most of these places. So if you ever have any concerns, they'll help you out. Now, another place further up is the Litchfield Cafe, is where I stopped. A lot of tours stopped there for food. And I went there. I got, first of all, this map was there. But a few petrol stations, you can say, have this map also available in the area. So have a look at that. But there's some food there some drinks there easy peasy lemon squeezy you can also do obviously a little bit of a bike ride here but know that you will get some hills but there are bathrooms and as long as you are very clear and understanding of the food and water amenities and you can pause on this video here that's why i'm going through it slowly on this side as you can see here there's also a list of different accommodation places from national from you know tourist parks to little inns holiday parks basically places where you can stay so you can schedule that in the right way the right distances for yourself plenty of places to set a tent up a couple of information centers bachelor is a fairly sizable place and a little bit south of that is also Ad is also adelaide river with war cemetery and a few little spots to check out as well so ladies and gentlemen that is leachfield national park we will talk about catherine and kakadu national park in another video but hopefully you have enjoyed this little spill you found it helpful found it useful you can do this whole loop in one day depends how long you want to spend but if you start reasonably you know in the reasonable hour in the morning 8 a.m let's say you will have plenty of time to cover this whole thing and of course you might even if you wanted to do actually a few bushwalks and little loops in most places you will have enough time to do that recommend especially knowing that every single one of these things is free to visit all you need to do is have food water vehicle fuel and off you go on your merry little adventure thanks for watching hope this was helpful for you and see you again soon